Hello, it's Miss Alicia. Um, today we are going to divide a decimal by a decimal. When we divide decimals by decimals, the most important thing is to make sure that our divisor is a whole number. So our divisor in this case is 1.5. It cannot be a decimal. It must be a whole number. So we have to change this divisor into a whole number before we can even start dividing, okay? So the first thing we need to do is move the decimal in 1.5 over to the right, and we will change the 1.5 into 15. Because we only moved one space over to the right in the divisor, we have to move one space over to the right in the dividend. So we're going to move over one space. Then we're going to divide 75. Okay. So now our dividend is 75. It was 7.5. And my divisor was 1.5. But my divisors can never be a decimal. It always has to turn into a whole number. So in order for me to turn it into a whole number, I have to move the decimal all the way to the right until it's a whole number. In this case, I only had to move one space. So I turned 1.5 into 15. Same thing I do outside the box in the divisor, I must do inside the box in the dividend. Okay, so now I have 75 divided by 15. And I can start dividing normally. Okay, what number times five will give me close to seven without going over seven? Zero invisible multiplication sign times 15 will give me zero. Seven minus zero, seven, bring down my five. And then we say to ourselves, what number times five, 15 will give me close to 75 without going over, okay? In this case, it will be five. So five times 15 will give me 75, okay? And I have no remainder, okay? Because I moved my decimal over to the end, okay, it's now my quotient is now five, a whole number five. Remember, every single time that we divide a divide decimals, we have to make sure that the divisor is a whole number every time. Okay, let's try another one. Miss Alicia is going to erase this problem, and I'm going to try something else. I'm going to try 1.2 divided by 48.0, okay? Now, I'm looking at this and I'm saying to myself, well, my divisor is a decimal, so there's no way that I can divide with a divisor as a decimal. I have to turn it into a whole number. So I'm going to move all the way to the right until it turns into a whole number. In this case, I only had to move one space to the right. So 1.2 becomes 12, okay? Now, same thing I do in a divisor, I must do in a dividend. I'm gonna move over one space to the right. So my 48.0 becomes 480. Now I can divide normally, okay? So. What I'm going to do, what number, invisible multiplication, times 12 will give me close to 4 without going over 4. 0 times 12 is 0. 4 minus 0 is 4. Bring down my 8. What number times 12 will give me close to 48 without going over? Your answer should be 4. 4 times 12 is 48. 0. Bring down my 0. 0 times 12 gives me 0. So my answer is 40. Okay? Always make sure that your divisor is a whole number. Your dividend can be a decimal. That's okay. Okay? Just remember to move your decimal up into the quotient. But your div divisor cannot be a decimal. You have to turn it into a whole number. We're going to try one more. Okay? I'm erasing. And if this is too fast for you, make sure you rewind, make sure you go back, okay? I'm going to do 
you know what? I'm going to do point uh, zero 0.05 divided by 205. Okay? Sorry. <laughs> so 205, right? I can do mm, 20.5. How about that? 20.5 divided by 0 0.05. Okay? My divisor is 0 0.05. So that means that I must, must, must turn my divisor into a whole number. It cannot be a decimal, ever. So I'm going to move my decimal over until my divisor is a whole number. I moved it over one space. That leaves me with 0 0.5. That's still a decimal. So I have to move it over again, all the way to the right, until it becomes a whole number. So 0 0.05 just became a whole number 5. I moved my decimal over two decimal places, okay, until 0 0.05 became a whole number. Now, same thing I do outside the box in the divisor, I must do inside the box. Since I moved two decimal places, one, two, which is two place values over, to turn 0 0.05 into a whole number, I'm going to do the same thing in the box. I'm moving over two spaces, one, two, okay? Now, my dividend becomes 2,050 because I moved over one, two spaces. So 2,050. Now I can divide normally, okay? Now I went over my time, but I want you to be, feel confident dividing decimals, dividing a decimal by a whole number and dividing a decimal by a decimal, okay? Just always remember your divisor always has to be turned into a whole number, okay? So if the divisor is a whole number, then the dividend needs to also be, the decimal in the dividend also needs to be moved, okay? So in this case, we had 2,000, I'm sorry, 20.5 divided by 0 0.05. We turned 0 0.05 into a whole number, which is 5, by moving over two decimal places. And 20.5, same thing we do outside the box, we must do inside the box. So we have to move over two decimal places inside the box as well, okay? So now we have 2,050 divided by 5. I hope this made complete sense to everyone. Um, I hope you understand. We will do it again in class. Just a little reminder. Um, if you have any questions, put a note on the page. Let me know. I will continue to make these videos because I want you to do very, 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 very well in math. Um, always let me know if you have a question. Okay, so tomorrow we'll discuss more. We're dividing a whole number by a decimal and dividing a decimal by a decimal. Remember, the divisor always has to change into a whole number. Bye.